So this is actually not the aquarium we'll be building in this video. This was our 60 centimeter shallow in the Aquarium Design Group gallery and uh, occupied this spot for about two years, but it was time for something new. And I just wanted to pay a little homage to it before we got started on the 90 shallow build. We really wanted to reuse uh, at least the cypress, but you know, some of the plants from this aquarium and that cypress is actually locally collected. So uh, kind of cool, kind of a cool homage to some of our local plants. Austin goes out and collects that. So he's uh, very skilled at not just the collecting, but the preserving and the general husbandry of those plants. So with the breakdown complete and the system components installed, this is a time when I just like to kind of give some thought to what I'd like to do for the layout. So venturing back into our hardscape collection area, I did have my eye on a particular wood. We had just pulled down a fresh palette of it. So I knew the selections would be really good uh, and they were. As for rock, I had a few different ideas. Uh, the Gotland stone is cool. Maybe thought of some lace rock, even started to pull some of the red lace rock, but Austin actually suggested this, which I didn't think we really had enough. This was really just scraps of a, just a dark stone, um, but he felt like we had enough. And I said, yeah, let's give it a try. So sure enough, I found some pieces that had just some really nice, you know, shared characteristics. And I gotta be honest, they work together like entirely too easily. Uh, that feature of the arm kind of swooping across the front was something I definitely wanted to build on. So I started just looking for other pieces with that similar vibe, that similar characteristic. Uh, this last one really started to give me some trouble. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out the angle I wanted and played with it a lot and jiggled it and made serious aquascaper faces at it and jiggled it some more. And as they often do, it kind of fell into place almost on its own. So with the wood portion of the hardscape firmly established, we move on to building the dam structure that will uh, keep the substrate in the back from spilling into the cosmetic sand in the front. We want to get it fairly high. So uh, in addition to the rock, we'll be using a, a foam material uh, that we just are able to cut into the pieces we want. Um, and you know, we're paying really close attention to stone placement and anywhere we can see light kind of peeking through, we want to try and cover that up either with a stone or foam material. And once that's all set, uh, we come in with a canned foam product and it works great for just all the little gaps and holes and really making a solid dam structure. So while Austin was finishing up the foaming, I started taking a look at a particular piece of wood and having some doubts. Now I wonder, this is kind of just going to get in the way. Though I like this feature, but we can just easily cut it and just attach it right here. Attach what? I like the arm. But yeah. This, not I'm now not. Now that oh. I kind of see the line, I don't know. I see. Because it's also from the front, like from the angles, it's good. But from the front, you've got, you know, these two things. Some scary, yeah. You know, it's I a also. Messy line. I also think an important part of this layout overall is going to be the density of plants right there, which right. is hardscape is taking all of. Yeah. So I think it's. I think what I, I think like your idea of cutting it right I there. I do like that. Yeah kind of makes a theme down here with that. Yeah, but. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chainsaw? <laughs> it's a chainsaw. <laughs> mini chainsaw. So Austin's mini chainsaw has been a really valuable tool for modifying wood. That arm turned out really nice. Continuing on with the foam, just getting that other side all dammed up. A little bit of glue 
to secure some of the wood to the rock. It has a tendency to float for the first couple of weeks. And then just a few small detail pieces we glued down towards the bottom and on these two sides also that I think added a lot. Now ready for substrate and a few final hardscape details. So some ADA power sand for the first layer. You know, we're going pretty deep with the substrate, obviously trying to get it pretty much all the way to the top. So that porous layer, I think is gonna be even more important. We've got the extra fine Bora sand from Ultim Nature Systems, my current favorite. Coming in with the aqua soil and just gonna really push to get it as high up as we can. Kind of helpful to cut some of that foam out as well. Just kind of cleans up the overall appearance there. And last but not least, um, some detail stones along the bottom, just for some added texture. And here we're doing a uh, removable vinyl on the sides, just to kind of clean up the side view. Just overall, feeling pretty good about the hardscape at this point. Um, has a lot of depth and character and just some very obvious places for planting. Uh, which will hopefully make that process a little more enjoyable. Included some small stones around the top portion also. You may not see them that often, but when you do catch them, uh, I think it adds a little additional charm to the in-person viewing experience. And how about a dramatic slow motion spray down before we're ready for planting? So I'm not sure why, but I, on shallow tanks, I do tend to start with the kind of outer water or the marginal plants or the you know e e what will be the emergent growth uh, first um, i feel like that's kind of a key feature of the style and um, just tend to like to get that established before working into the underwater portion now we've uh, chosen to reuse the cypress from the 60 centimeter shallow tank featured at the beginning of the video and we've included two other locally collected uh, kind of marginally growing plants that uh, were found very near the cypress too so while we've never used them before we're assuming they'll probably do pretty well in this layout and as usual after taking my time in the planting process i'm at that point where uh, the day is ending and i'd really like to just get it done overall pretty happy with the planting at this point there's a few things i'll probably be adding uh, just plants i wasn't able to get in time for the initial installation hoping all the tissue culture grown busa philandras uh, don't melt also that's a big problem we've had with those uh, but it is kind of random sometimes they do sometimes they don't so fingers crossed on this one now the kind of vibe or inspiration for this one for me was a mix of sort of classic nature aquarium you know Takashi Amano ADA style and but with the hardscape you know we used a lot of technique and influences from the Indonesian style so I'm feeling pretty good about this layout until yeah so after filling and we turned on the filter almost all the plants in the back fell over um, I think it was because the soil just wasn't quite high enough and they just didn't have the support they needed so my strategy was just to redo that back section, um, adding a lot more soil all the way up to the top, say for about three quarters of an inch or so. And this also gave me a chance to kind of think again about my planting back there. And I chose to add a lot of other textures and uh, just different varieties of plants to hopefully fill in that space. So with the layout completed, the water clear, um, this is after about 24 hours. Uh, really liking it feeling good about it now there's always the threat of you know some plants melting or not doing well in that first couple of weeks and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this one with some more video updates you can see a few spots there where i glued that ricardia to the wood you see those little white spots or as clean as i thought i was doing it you know you still get a few of those uh, on the hardscape most of the time so thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing the progress of this 90 centimeter shallow aquarium inside the Aquarium Design Group Gallery. Bye for now.